Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian. I was going to do a video about the new season, and then honestly, I just need to cover this instead. Uh, this video will be about Destiny's community. And again, Destiny's community has always been passionate, but honestly, they're starting to get a little bit out of control. So let me be clear when I start with this. Destiny has had issues in the past, and I think it's valid for the community to voice concerns. But there's a difference between being concerned and trying to burn everything down. And that's what I want to talk about briefly. For context, everyone remembers back in the days of Activision and the old model. And the infamous two tokens in a blue. People also remember back in those days of playing through content in a few days and having absolutely nothing to play. And then watching your friends move on to other games, which in a game where you typically have to play with other people, that makes things difficult. But what's interesting as we get into this year, people are already starting to talk about, well, I want Activision back, because again, they think they want, hey, back to the cutscenes and the story missions and all this other stuff, because again, that's a traditional model. And I think that's being short-sighted. So again, let's talk about this season. If you bought the full game of Shadowkeep when it launched, if you bought the full thing for all the season pass, it was $60. So basically, what you're talking about is a game that boils down to $5 a month that's right it costs less than one overpriced drink you normally buy each week for an entire year of updated content drift you over time and again i know there may be hey we don't really like that model i get that and even luke smith acknowledged in his recent director's cut that there are issues with the model again it, because they're trying to experiment and they're trying new things they are sometimes going to be really successful and they're sometimes going to fail but i think Trying to get to this live gaming model is something that's fairly new to the industry. Not that other games haven't done it, but I don't know of any game that's been as successful right now as Bungie over time. That also doesn't mean that there are going to be bugs, and we know recently there have been some pretty significant bugs. In fact, having rollbacks and things like that. But again, I think as they attempt to be more agile with their delivery process, it's clear that the engine that they have was not built to support that, which again, they have a couple options. They could just move on to Destiny 3 and abandon Destiny 2, right? That's an option. Or they could try to make it work with what they currently have. And sometimes they're going to make boneheaded mistakes when trying to implement a new feature like the current emblem issue. And sometimes they're going to announce game modes moving into the game. And they will make mistakes not taking into account certain things. In this case, like power level for trials. But again, what I think the big difference is now is that they're listening and they're working to cap power and trials. And, and what that means is, is that now they have the ability to be able to, okay, we made a mistake with that, let's try this. In the old model with Activision, once they have the content kind of locked in, you're done. If they make a mistake, you're basically gonna go three months not having anything to do. And I think it's funny that now in the community, there are actually people saying, hey, let's go back to the Activision model, which I think would be a ma massive mistake. Again, the other reason I want to support Bungie, the new Bungie, as a company, is how they respond to the community. They are making a game that develops over Season. I remember when Season of Dawn launched, people yawned at it and said, Hey, this is boring, there's not a lot of content. And then by the end of it, I've seen more recent articles that say, Hey, Season of Dawn was actually the best content we've had in a long time for Destiny. So again, I think the biggest thing with Destiny is you need to be patient. And you need to play what parts of it that you enjoy. What doesn't help is the constant whining and complaining from some folks in the communities. Again, I think sometimes folks need to take a break from the game. And again, I also think, you know, it's okay to voice your opinion when something's broken or something like that. But I think you could do that in a constructive way, which I don't think is happening right now. In the grand scheme of things I talked about earlier, this costs you five bucks a month. Which I imagine all of you who are complaining have probably put hours of gameplay into the game. No one is making you play the game. I think sometimes that grind can get to people, right? Try new games. Go out and say hi to people. You know, talk to your family. I heard they're pretty cool. So again, if you're not enjoying the game, it's like anything else in life. Do something else. But of course, Bungie is also damned if they do and damned if they don't. The first season, people said the roadmap wasn't clear enough. So on Dawn, they made everything transparent. And then folks complained that we knew too much that was happening in the season and it, there weren't any surprises. So this season, they aren't revealing as much which makes me think there are other surprises coming, and they were clear that there were, but now people are complaining there isn't enough content. So far for the new season, I'm enjoying it. I like the limited amount of cutscenes they had, which kind of progressed the story along. I like the fact that we have this 
new public event, which seems to be fun. I know at some point it'll get old, but again, they could have just gave us another version of the Menagerie or the Sundial or something like that, which everyone complained that there were too much of. So I like that. I like the, everything that's themed around, war, around the Warmind, and I think it'll be interesting to see how that kind of develops over the season. Don't get me wrong. If it sucks, I will call it out. And there have been issues with previous seasons and this season like there will be with any game. Again, it's a game. It's fine to have folks have their voices heard for issues in the game. That's a really legitimate thing. But if you really don't like it to the point where you want to bring everything down and burn everything down, just take a break and do something else. And if someone else is enjoying the game, let them. No one is here about folks about how they're not allowed to like the game or that Bungie is this or Bungie is that or that all these other games are better. Again, if you like a different game, go play it. There's no reason why you have to kind of uh, rain on everyone else's parade. That's the thing that frustrates me. Okay, that's enough of that. I hate being negative. It's just not who I am. But honestly, I had to get that off my chest. Let me know what you guys think and what are your thoughts on the season. Again, it's new, but you know, I'd love to hear your comments. So get down into the comments and kind of let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see continued balance coverage, I know this video wasn't, but if you want to see continued balance coverage on Destiny, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I'll continue to put videos out uh, for the community. And again, I'll see you Guardians in the Tower. Yeah.